This is a call to the body of Christ. I want to speak to the church. I want to speak to Christians all over the world. I don't know where you are listening to this voice. Let us wake from our slumber. God told me that war is coming to the church. A very big war is coming to the church. The body of Christ will be challenged. The body of Christ will be tensed. Marine spirits, satanic kingdom have risen against the church. If you have not been praying as a child of God, as a pastor, wake up and begin to pray. The battle all over the world is not ordinary battle. It's a battle to silence the body of Christ. We are talking about bandits. We are talking about Boko Haram. We are talking about full and enhanced men. There is another dimension of battle that is coming against the church. God asked me to speak to the Christians. We are lazy. We are becoming too materialistic instead of being too spiritual. I am not against material blessings. But the Lord is asking the church to rise up to responsibility. Let us rise up to the realm where we defend our faith. Let us rise up to holiness. Let us rise up to righteousness. Let us rise up to spirituality. Let us do less with our phone and more on our knees in the presence of God. A wind is about to blow. The body of Christ will be attacked. Some ministries will fizzle out. Some pastors will go down. But that is not the mind of God. No matter the challenges that come to you, stand up. Wake up from your slumber. How many of us are praying at night? How many of us are still speaking in tongues in the place of prayer? How many of us are still standing in the truth? How many of us are still calling evil, evil? How many of us are still leading the church in the path of righteousness and peace? How many of us are still raising a body that will be rapturable? Remember that Jesus is coming to rapture a church without spot nor wrinkle. Christians all over the world, never you join those who are not part of us to fight against the church on social media. War is coming against the body of Christ. War, 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 war from the water world. War from the marine kingdom. Because many of us have left our faith. No more praying. We are no more checkmating these forces. And they have grown even inside the church. Many false teachers, false prophets, creating issues in the body of Christ. Making everybody think that Christianity is just a joke. Christianity is never a joke. Let us wake up to responsibility. This is the perilous time Apostle Paul talked about. May heaven never take you on our ways. If you have fallen, if you have sinned, don't allow the devil to kill you with the sin. Confess to Christ. Wake up again. Everybody can make a mistake, and that includes you. Don't because of the mistake, allow the devil to take authority over the church. Get up again. We need you. I need you. You need me. Let's fall back and take the church to the next level. Jesus is coming very soon. This is the word of the Lord to me, to you, and to all the believers all over the world. And anywhere you see this tape, this message, keep sharing it. Keep sharing it. Let's get on our knees. Let's begin to pray. Let's remember the old path. Let's remember the old Christianity. Let's remember the ancient Christianity. Christianity of truth. Christianity of purity. Christianity of prayer. Christianity of the word of God. Remember, the Bible spoke about the trial of our faith. We have entered into that realm. Don't be defeated. Don't allow the devil to cajole you out of the presence of God. Because many will fall out of church. Pastors will fall out of church. Jim Jim believers will fall out of church. Prophetic Christians will drop their faith. But that must not be you. Jesus is counting on us. Jesus is counting on us. He told me that God, the defender of his people, shall defend his church. Be among the people that will move the hand of God in prayer for God to defend his church. Christianity will not die in Nigeria. It will not die in Africa as long as you and I live and hold hands together. God bless you. God honor you. God favor you. Shalom. Come. Let's celebrate Jesus, the master.
of holiness.